now squatting and my legs hurt so much in this angle. Okay, so um, if you see me squirming around, that's because my legs hurt. Dreamers, and welcome to my new home. Today I'm going to talk about a beginner fish. If you need a saltwater, this will be the perfect fish for you to take care of. They are the clownfish, the tomato clownfish to be exact. She kind of reminds me of a Swedish fish. You know the Swedish fish candy? In some odd way. And okay, so let's talk about basic care. Tank size, minimum. Some people say 20, some say 30. It's up to you. I say 30, because if you go into bigger and that's an option for you, then bigger is always better. But you can keep them as a pair, though they will fight with <laughs> I think we're hitting. <laughs> I have my clownfish, just one tomato clown in my tank. And they are semi-aggressive, and once in a while you will see her picking on the others. But I think it's more of a territory issue, because she's never actually hurt any of the other fish. So at first she would just nip their tails, but then she's completely stopped doing that as she got older. And I do have another clownfish in this tank, and that's an Ocellaris clownfish. Though most people don't recommend mixing two different species, because again, they're semi-aggressive and they could possibly attack each other. But this is temporary because my 10 gallon tank is going through a mini cycle due to the move. And I don't know if you can see me up here. <laughs> and so right now the fish is in this tank, but they have not bothered, bothered each other at all. They each have their own little territory and they mind each other's business. They don't go looking for a fight. So if it all goes well, I will keep this fish in here. If not, I have no problem putting it in the other tank once it cycles. The other tank only has a few shrimp in there that I feed to Giselle. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about food. So what do you feed your new tomato clownfish? They will eat anything. They love to eat shrimp, scallops, mussels, clams, anything that is a meaty type of food, they will eat. Mine does not eat any algae or seaweed or anything like that. I try, doesn't like it. Okay, so that's about it for feeding. It's very easy to feed these fish. I Tom feed mine. Uh, he also eats, she also eats blood worms and brine shrimp. I haven't tried my shrimp yet, but I'm sure she would eat it. And she does eat live shrimp. <laughs> she loves those. Okay, so what else have we not discussed? So what about a tomato clownfish with your corals? It should be absolutely perfectly safe. Of course, clownfish like to go in anemones, and if you don't have an anemone, they might also make friends with your corals. I don't have any of those in my tank, and it's okay, they don't need one to survive. They'll get along great without one. Alright, so I think that's about it. It's a pretty easy video. There's not much to tomato clownfish. But I will show you some footage of one. And for a fun fact, what I've read, all tomato clownfish are gender neutral. And that means they do not have an assigned gender. If you have more than one clownfish, they will fight to who becomes, you know, the top female, so to speak. 
if you have a breeding pair, one clownfish will turn female. Well, at first, what they do is fight. They're gonna fight, fight, fight. The winning fish is gonna be female, and she's gonna be the queen. The next fish that was the one fighting with the queen, which I call the queen, is going to be the kingfish, which these are all just names I'm just making up right now. And the kingfish will be the boy or the male. Now, if the queen were to die, the kingfish becomes the queen. And the next fish in line becomes the male. It's like a pecking order, so to speak. And if you only have one fish in your tank, I read that it's just going to be a female. And that's that. <laughs> that's an interesting little fact I thought I'd share with you. Other than that, the fish are very easy to take care of. And they are beautiful. And they don't like being called Nemo because they look nothing like Nemo. Oh, another fun fact. The juveniles. They have one white stripe, you know, by the eye, and then they have a second stripe, another white stripe, on the body. And as they age, they lose that second white stripe. Now, Bisque, which is my tomato clown, has one white stripe and a black stripe. Oh, I found another fun fact, but I forgot. What was I going to say? I'm thirsty. My legs hurt. Oh, okay. Okay, I remember. Okay, so the other fun fact is that my tomato clown does not like sand in her sleeping area. She likes a clean house. She'll get her tail. Here's a sand bed. She'll get her tail and do that with her tail and make all the sand fly up in the water. She likes sleeping on a bare bottom. And I read other clownfish like to do that too, so I can see I have a clean house. <laughs> it's kind of clean house. There we go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is cleaning house. And don't forget to comment below and to subscribe and share with your friends if you like these videos. Alright, I will see you in the next video. And as always, you are beautiful. And don't let anyone ever tell you otherwise. <laughs>